Welcome to Chapter 3 of our story, where the sun sets over Hollow Creek, casting long shadows that stretch across the town. The air is thick with the scent of old books and dust as Evelyn Moore, known to her friends as Evie, stands at the entrance of the historical society. The vibrant chaos of the carnival still lingers in their minds, a haunting reminder of the confrontation with the carnival spirit. Evie, along with her friends Jake, Lily, and Marcus, are united in their purpose, ready to uncover the truth that binds their families to the curse of the carnival. Join us as we delve into the mysteries of Hollow Creek and the secrets that lie within its history. Inside the historical society, the dim light casts eerie shadows over cluttered shelves filled with artifacts from a bygone era. Mr. Abernathy, the eccentric local historian, shuffles through a stack of papers. His wild gray hair frames a face etched with the lines of countless stories. As he looks up, his thick glasses slip down his nose, and he offers a knowing smile. You've come to seek the truth, haven't you? He asks, his voice gravelly yet warm. Evie nods, her resolve hardening. They need to understand the carnival's curse, a curse tied to their families. Mr. Abernathy gestures for them to gather around a large oak table its surface scarred by time. The carnival is not just a spectacle. It's a mirror reflecting the town's buried traumas, he explains. As the group leans in, the historian begins to unravel the threads of the past, revealing connections that send shivers down Evie's spine. Jake, with his sharp blue eyes alight with determination, scribbles notes furiously. This is it, Evie. This is how we can tell our story. We can't let the town forget he insists. Lily, her vibrant hair catching the light, adds, and we can use our art to express what we've learned. It's not just about the past. It's about healing. But Marcus, ever the rebel, crosses his arms, a frown creasing his brow. What if the townsfolk don't want to hear it? They've buried their heads in the sand for too long, he argues. Tension crackles in the air, a reminder of the external pressures they face. Evie feels the weight of their mission pressing down on her, but she also feels the strength of their bond. We have to try. We owe it to ourselves and to those who came before us, she declares. As they delve deeper into the history, the atmosphere shifts. The remnants of the carnival's darkness linger like a specter, a reminder that their journey is far from over. Each revelation brings them closer to the final confrontation, but also heightens the stakes. The townsfolk's resistance looms large, a barrier they will have to break through if they are to succeed. With newfound determination, Evie leads her friends out of the historical society. The sun dips below the horizon, casting the town in a golden hue. They stand together, ready to face whatever lies ahead, united by their shared purpose and the promise of redemption. The carnival's curse will not define them. They will break it together. As the shadows lengthen and the night draws near, they know that their journey is just beginning. The path ahead is fraught with challenges, but with courage and unity, they will overcome. Stay tuned for more as we continue this thrilling tale of mystery and courage. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for the next chapter.